Ayan, um, mic check. Uh, I think everything is okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a Friday. Ayan, uh, today uh, is my flight to Bacolod. But yeah, I still have time for the daily grind. So, yeah, as long as may oras tayo, we will do daily grind. Um, It's a Friday. Uh, good morning. Good beautiful Friday here in Cebu. Good morning to everyone. And good morning to my daughter, Laika. Let me just double check everything is if everything is working well. And today we're going to be discussing about... Yan, um, discussion natin is do technical analysis work uh, on a bearish market. Yeah, kasi nagsis, na, nagsisiraan ang mga uh, uh, supports, uh, resistance, but somehow other people are earning. But, so the question is, does technical analysis work on a bearish market? We're going to be discussing about that in a bit. Um, if you're watching the replay of the video, um, if re- replay ng pinapanood ninyo, um, please go forward to 25 minutes of the video. That should be around 8.40 in the morning here uh, when this video is was recorded. Uh, so the discussion will start there. So just fast forward to 25 minutes if you are watching the replay. And um, before we do the discussion, I'm going to be, uh, what do you call this? I'm going to be uh, checking out the requests and the comments of of the people who are here already uh, for before before that please uh, re, uh please uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet and please share the video to your wall yan yung, yung video na ito please share it to your wall para uh, malaman ng mga tao na there are programs like this ang mga friends ninyo kahit isang friend at a time that, well, that whose curiosity will be sparked uh, uh, curiosity about the stock market will be sparked that will be a very good uh, help for the goal of financial freedom 101 to teach Filipinos more Filipinos more about investing and how to be financially free in the future yeah so um in your request coin return please share the video um we'll go to the you know um comments of everyone as usual um around 8 40 we will pause for a bit and then after that if we still have time we'll go back to the comments after okay uh joel garris good morning sir lloyd and Laika. good morning then number one again si joel um hops good morning jerick araniego good morning sir lloyd thank you for being so generous with your knowledge thank you oh you're welcome uh jerick hops are you expecting another round of sell-off today pulahan lahat ng markets abroad indeed uh dow jones uh uh lahat lahat uh, lahat halos lahat ng market so investors are creeping out yeah yung sa itoro ko nga ay lumabas ako noon buti nga lumabas ako kasi kung hindi ako lumabas na, na, natamaan ako ng grabbing bagsak ng uh, Nasdaq di ba um good thing we were out and then i'm just waiting for the retracement of that reversal uh, para sa para i short sell ko ang Dow Jones kasi i think this will be a uh, quite a long ano quite a long uh, retrace for for the US market so i'm just waiting for the higher lows si gold umakyat ngayon so yun yung inaantay ko na uma, uh, pu- uh, pasukin right um yeah we're expecting another red one that's why i, I want to uh, i want to discuss this about uh, hops that's why i want to discuss about technical analysis on a bearish market does it work or not para sa mga tao na very aggressive uh, uh i've seen so many people who are aggressive in the stock market even on a red market kaya maraming naiipit uh, so we're going to be discussing about that do technical analysis work on a bearish market yan renewal for first as my buntag coach grab yung palahan ngayon indeed yeah, lahat halos lahat grabe yung palahan yung yung now nga eh, grabe yung pula ni now Rain Jo, good morning, Sir Lloyd. DMW bumagsak din. Of course, yes. <laughs> Halos lahat naman yata sa We checked the market yesterday and nasa around, alam lang yun, mga 30 companies ang nag-green and lahat bumagsak. And hindi lang bagsak, grabe bagsak. Daran buwa, may buntag, Sir Lloyd, and Princess Laika. Wala bang mm, reversal, Sir Lloyd? Ang sakit-sakit na. Um, Daran buwa, reversal. Let's talk about res- reversal. It's it's a super bearish market. It's really hard to uh, guess the bottom in this kind of market because if you're gonna be trying if you're gonna try to guess the bottom baka bumaba pa nga lalo diba because we were at support that was the bottom that we were waiting for <clears throat> that was when we tried to guess if it's gonna go up or down I did I did uh, I did uh, I was hopeful na aakit siya um, but I wasn't aggressive right I did not even buy I was really hoping for a green one but sadly walang green so walang confirmation so nagtuloy-tuloy talaga siya so it really is not ano um, we try we use technical analysis to try to guess the bottom but in the end it's really the price action that 
that that dictates the ano that dictates the price and price action bumaba siya wala talaga yung green so yon um on a bearish market don't try to be aggressive okay mag aggressive masyado right um so um i can't really say a reversal is coming anytime soon siguro what will happen is a consolidation or a correction lang muna right correction so so um correction para mag resume yung downtrend baka baka magtotoo yung sinabi ng mga tao na 6500 so yeah um wala pang gaano mga uh, wala pang gaano earnings for for trading uh, this week uh the coming days yan so yan yung sinabi ko sa mga, sa one of my previous videos um if you want to be a full-time trader it's not easy because there are days like this um months even like this na pulahan right but it's okay Because that's part of the market. If ganito talaga, and it just don't be aggressive. Uh, wag mi masyadong aggressive. Don't be too aggressive, di ba? Uh, we're gonna be discussing more about that in a while. Darren Boa, may buntag, Sir Lloyd and Pris. Like, uh, Techi, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning din. Hops, mukhang abot pa tayo na 6.5. By the price action, yes, I think so, Hops. Uh, Hansel Burusel, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning din. Mark Cortez, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And to your family, nakagising uli ng maaga para... para makinig sa the daily grind and um more power to the program thank you so much ang pala guys um if you want to support the program sa YouTube chat meron diyang um uh dollar sign yan that's called the super chat katabi ng smiley um there's a way to help the channel by donating if gusto niyo mag-tip sa akin um that will be a very good help for the program para mapagpatuloy natin yung program hindi lang yung daily grind but the yung buong program ng financial freedom 101 so if you want to donate to the channel you can use that super chat option katabi ng emoji yung dollar sign na yan sa chat room natin right um that will really help me in return advanced thank you sa generosity ninyo din um Uh, Jeric Araniego, good morning, sir. Sir, uh, good morning, sir Lloyd. Ah, uh, no, hindi. sir Lloyd is 15% an attainable monthly profit. Um, goal through swing trading. I can tell, I can't really tell, but there are people who can earn that. But especially in this bearish market, I don't think so. It's not really that feasible kasi bumabagsak siya. Um, but yeah, it, it is attainable. Nakita niyo naman sa ano eh. Um, nakikita niyo naman sa what they call this. Uh, nakikita niyo naman sa Investagraph, right? It's not just for swing trading. Siguro ma- ma- mabilis 'yan for uh, for intraday trading, yung 15% attainable monthly profit goal. Sa swing trading, I can't say it is possible. So, uh, I'm just uh, yung yung ano ko nga, yung ituro ko, yung goal ko every month is 4 to 5% lang eh. So, 15% is uh, quite a lot. Um, so my goal is only four to five percent. The the key is to make your buying power big. Lakihan mo ang pera mo para yung one percent na yan or two percent, three percent, four percent malaki na in a monthly in a, um, on a monthly basis. The fifteen percent is not is, is very very hard to attain. I tell you, right? Uh, you have to be very very good to attain that in a month. Right? What you do is lakihan mo ang pera mo. And goal, siguro goal mo target profit a month no four thousand to five thousand. I mean four, I mean four percent to five percent. That should be enough, right? So yan, uh, for swing trading. Argel Mendoza, good morning, Sir Lloyd, IRC, JFC, BDO. Thanks po. Yan. Um, I wasn't able to prepare for the market much today, so wala akong ganong recommendations uh, for today. But we're gonna be doing charting. So if you have any requests, uh, na chart natin. Um, please post it on the comments para pag discuss natin. Right. Um, asan yung what do you call this? Asan yung yun. Sorry. Uh, IRC, JFC, BDO. Nawala yung notepad ko eh. Right. Yan. So, I'm gonna be putting that down. Joseph Cortez, somehow your message was retracted. Um, can you please post it again? Hops with the bear market, sir. Technical analysis po ba ay may bearing pa? That is what we're gonna be talking about today, Hops, right? JR, good morning, sir. If investor po naman, advisable by maintaining muna yung bottom ng stock bago i- average down. So we'll, we'll talk about that. Very good. Averaging down. Siguro magan, um, that is very, ano, uh, that is very, what do you call this? 
uh, that is very related to the issue at topic natin ngayon. So, averaging down. So, yeah. Sulat ko, pero hindi ko makalimutan. Right? Averaging down. Ayan. Um, Led, good morning po, Sir Lloyd, from the island of Boracay. Uy, ayun. Ang ganda na ng Boracay ngayon, na. Um, JR, food, uh, STR now, JFC po, for insights. Si JFC lang nag-hold sa mga recommendations ko, eh. <laughs> Alright, so we'll write it down. Food, STR, now, and JFC. Ayan, we'll talk about them. Um, JFC, CPG, and BDO. JFC, CPG. CPG and BDO. Ayan, pag-usapan natin yung mga yan. Techie, habit ko po everyday ito. Kulang ang araw pag walang live stream. Thank you so much for being generous. May God bless you and your family. From Techie, thank you so much, Techie. Tama mo, Celine Fernand. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. It's Friday again. <laughs> um, yes, uh, usually natatakot ay so Friday kasi profit-taking din. Not really natatakot. We're just expecting that. But what happened is every day is a... F- profit taking day sa ano eh <laughs> sa, sa PSEI lately eh. so yeah um and anyways okay pa rin naman Erica Liwa good morning sir Lloyd mga pala guys um today is my flight to Bora- ah, Boracay tuloy um Bacolod um the seminar will be on Saturday October 14 if nasa Bacolod kayo and if you wanna learn trading um just check out the poster for the location and the oras. Um, Bacolod, uh, I'll be there October 14. There are a few seats, a uh, few seats available na lang. Um, so if you wanna join, pwede kayo mag walk in on that day, right? Um, October 20 in Manila. I'll be in Manila October 20. Yeah, and so if you haven't registered yet, I'll see you in Manila, right? I tell you guys, napaka ganda ng mga matutunan ninyo, right? Uh, that, that's the workshop I have. Uh, if you want to check out, don't take my word for it about it being good, right? Pwede nyo tingnan yung testimonials ng mga tao, yung mga students ko most especially, andyan sa... Um, Ratings na Facebook page ko, yung Financial Freedom 101 na page sa Facebook. Just go to ratings and andun yung testimonials ng mga students if sulit ba talagang workshop. I tell you guys, it's one of the cheapest workshop out there. Uh, virtue ko lang natin kasi is really, um, gusto ko win-win lang. Right? I, um, there is something I can get out of it, but also it's not expensive para sa inyo. Um, Yes, gumastok sa'yo ng konti, but what you will be learning is so much more than that. The worth of the workshop is really worth more than that. So, panalo rin kayo at the same time. Hindi yung masasaktan yung bulsa ninyo. Right? So, it's very cheap. Um, don't, uh, wag nyong sasayangin yung opportunity. Arvin Aligido, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning. And Jeffrey Etty, happy Friday, Boss Lloyd. Happy Friday then. Genesis Suriaga, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Apektado tayo sa US market. Nag-fall ng super baba. Dahil sa inflation scare ng USD. Yes, we are somehow in- affected. Kasi karamihan ng investor sa atin is... Uh, investor sa atin is US eh, I mean yeah foreign foreign investors diba hindi lang sa US but yeah malaking chunk ng, ng investors ng Philippines sa stock market is US, are, US, uh, are US investors so pag bumabagsak doon pag tingin nila sa atin bumabagsak din eh ayaw nila maglagay ng pera sa 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 PH market diba kasi bumabagsak din eh diba they want to earn right away because these are investors um so they're gonna look for a different market but somehow all the markets are going down. Konti lang ang nagsusustain. And then, if pumasok naman sila sa iba, um, medyo mataas na. So, it's really not easy to mm, to to go into the markets right now. Right? Problema pa sa Philippines is walang short selling. So, hindi natin masyo short sell yung stock. So, yung ano lang, kung alam lang natin, uh, kung meron lang short selling sa PSE, sus na short sell na natin sila now, yung ibang stocks, diba? Kasi bearish yung market. Um, profit-taking day from Frentes. Kid Rock first. Yeah, profit-taking day. Kaso, polal palagi. Yeah, every day is profit-taking day. Estrella Sanchez, good morning. Um, Benwa, may buntag. Sir Lloyd, eh, eh, asa ka sa Cebu di ay, sir? I'm in Mandawe. Eh, pwede ra dili ito bagan. I, I'm from Mandawe. I'm based in Mandawe, Benwa. Right, Mandawi City. Victor Guiyab, um, good morning, sir. May pag-asa pa ba mag-8,200 ang index? Uh... If we can bottom anytime soon, right? If we can bottom soon enough, if grabe pang bagsak around 6,500, I think yes, right? Kasi sobrang ganda na ng presyo na yan and it will start a rally when the demand is there already. Once the prices are very attractive, people are start will start to come in. And then once, yan, the, the stock market is a, uh, is a what they call this, uh, 
has the psychology of a crowd. If nakikita ng mga tao na pumapasok na mga investors, start people are start uh, will start to come in also and then that will start spark the rally. And 8,200 ni naman kalayuan 'yon. We're just at around 1,000 uh, 1,000 points lang 'yon away, 'di ba? So, yes, that is I think that is possible. Possible naman 'yan once na maka-bottom na tayo kagad. Once with the bottom pag na reversal 'yan, madali lang, especially in bear months, uh, maraming tao, pera ang mga tao. So, maraming investors, right? Michelle Obaldo, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Yes, Michelle is one of my batch one students, right? Good morning, Mitch. And Benwa, greetings here from Taiwan. Uy, from Taiwan pala si Ben, uh, Benwa. Yan. Good morning sa inyo, mga kapatid natin, mga OFWs. Mabuhay po kayo. Justin Salvador, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Wala lang tayong gagawin. Ngayon, Dota na lang tayo mamaya. <laughs> <laughs> Nat- napapansin nila kasi uh, sa chat room sa Discord nakikita kung ano kung naglalaro ka kasi Discord the Discord app is really meant for gaming we use it for ano we use it for uh, chatting and communicating with everyone um nga pala guys sa mga kakapasok lang please share the video please paki-share ang video para um marami pa ang tao makakaalam about the stock market yet um if you haven't joined the Discord channel yet uh, I want to share my screen Yan, this is the Discord group. Yan, we have a main chat room and yung non-business related. Dito yung mga kulitan at mga chikahan ng mga tao. Um, if you're a newbie, you can stick to the main page. Dito yung mga, ano, dito yung, dito yung mga katanungan and stocks related talaga ng mga questions. Uh, is here, at least, ma-filter natin out yung noise. Right? Um, kasi lumalaki na ang, lumalaki na ang community natin sa The Billionaires Club and it's really hard to, uh, Uh, um, what do you call this to to monitor the group right it's really hard to uh, what do you call this uh Har- really hard to control. Hindi mo naman may iwasan magkatuwa ng mga tao ba meron mga ka- asaran mga ganyan and then people tend to um kasi kung isang chat room lang um may hirapan, right? It will be very noisy and some people will not appreciate that, especially the newbies. Kaya I made a non-business related uh, chat room. Same chat room pa rin. If you haven't joined the chat room yet, please join the chat room. Um, andyan sa video description, may Discord dyan. Andyan yung invite, invitation link ng Discord. Download Discord and click on that link and makakapasok kayo sa Discord natin. So, newbies, if you're newbies, stick to the main. Um, if you gusto nyo makipag-jikahan, which is non-business related, just go to this tab right here. Ayan, andyan yung noise. Right? But at least ma-filter out natin yung ingay. Para malinis ang chat room, di ba? Um, so, this will be a very helpful chat room for you. Mayroon charting discussions dito. Nagtutulungan ng mga tao. Usually, if every night. Min- minsan nga, alas, alas, alauna ng... Look at this. 2.54 a.m. 2 o'clock, 54 a.m. Nagcha-charting ang mga tao. <laughs> ganyan ka, ganyan ka, ganyan ka diligent ang mga tao dito. And whenever someone asks for chart dito, nasasagot ang mga tao. So, if you're a newbie, please join this chat room. This will be very helpful for you. Alright? Um, going back to the... Um, comments full screen ko muna para intense right um uh good morning po sir aside from the updates and news is there a way for us to analyze if a stock will gap up or gap down the following day usually in demand ang nagko-cause ng gap up eh, right uh, so it's really about the news if about gap gap ups and gap down if wala namang news those are normal moving stocks so magko-continue lang yan sa Um, usual close niya, right? Uh, if the if the stock gaps up and if the gap up is uh, something significant, malaking gap up, there's something up with the company. The same with gapping down, right? Jovi Tanael, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then, Edgar Kabakungan. Good morning po, Sir. Good morning then, Kim Anatalia. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. What happened to Or? Um, what happened to Or? Bumagsak si Or, eh, di ba? Um, it's one of my picks, really. Uh, bumagsak si Or. What happened to it? Uh, bear market happen right? it's really bear a bear market so mahirapan talaga mga stocks umakyat we're gonna be discussing about that more in a while Justin Salvador sa ituro po ba pag nag-sell ka Sir Lloyd kasali yung nakapit trade sa iyo yes that is right if magsa-sell ako kasama yung ma- nagkapit trade sa akin magsa-sell din Martin Samar PLC Sir Lloyd good morning um I'll write that down PLC And Enrico Cruz, anong connect po ng PTNT sa MRC Allied? Um, MRC is the back door of PTNT. So, if ever uh, hindi makabalik sa PSEC, MRC, I mean, sa si PTNT, 
to raise funds, they can use MRC. Si MRC ang magpo-fund sa kanila, bale. Right? Um, if PTNT needs funds, si MRC bibigyan ng pera sa kanila. So, MRC, uh, if MRC invests in PTNT, and then, um, kikita na malaki si MRC. Right? Kaya, yun yung connection nila. If ever si MRC magiging backdoor sa kanila. Right? Still, also, MRC is still funding PTNT naman. Eh. So, yan yung connection natin. If ever makabalik man ang PTNT, don't expect na makakapasok kayo kaagad. You have, you will, mag-aantay pa kayo ng ilang araw niyan before kayo makakapasok talaga. So, the demand will be very big. And, yun, um, because the demand is very big but supply is very small, baka hindi kayo makapasok. So, the demand might spill over to MRC. Right? Kasi, hindi makapasok ang mga tao. Doon nila sila kay MRC. Kasi, anyways, MRC is invested in PTNT. So, kung makitan si PTNT, kikita din si MRC at the same time. So, that's the possible scenario. If makapasok man ulit si PTNT, aakit pa rin si MRC. Most probably. I can't be sure. Right? But that's the scenario we're, we're looking at. STV Trader, happy morning. Red Tide, sir. Now, ATN. Thanks. We'll, we'll write it down. Si now and ATN. Yes, Red Tide. <laughs> right. Um, brilliant Encore. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Any insights why some companies are holding kahit Red October po? Like PLC. Um, some companies are holding because they're invested in the company. Right. Um, if I am invested in a company, I will not sell my stocks. I'll just hold on to it. And then, because I'm in there for long term, wala naman problema yan kahit maipit ako. Because um, my plans are really to average down. Right? So, I'm just gonna be buying more stock. And if the if I buy more stock, bababa naman yung average ko. So, it's not really a mat, it's not really a factor kung bababa ang stock. Uh, that's not a problem because I can always average down. Anyways, if I aver- if I keep constantly put money in it, bababa at bababa naman yung average ko. So, holding on to the company is not really a problem. It's just a problem for those na limited ang funds. Right? Limited ang funds na walang pang average down. Right, but we're gonna be talking more about that. It's 8.39, just a minute more. Um, basahin ko lang muna ang mga comments. Sir, matagal-tagal na, uh, na rin ma- na- nakabalik morning po. Good morning, John Paul. Ayan. Good morning, sir, from Amancio Akas. Food and ATN. Uh, food and ATN is already in the list, so we'll be discussing that in a bit. Um, Ron Villanueva. Good morning, sir Lloyd. CLI po. Ayan, si CLI. Um, Earnings of CLI for third quarter is out. It's uh, a positive 60 plus percent. That's a very, uh, that's a very good plus. And, and hindi ba lang yan? Um, hindi pa fully operational, uh, hindi pa fully uh, kumikita ang CLI sa mga pro- projects nila. It is even bigger. The, uh, the, uh, the, what they call this, the fundamentals of this company has been very big. You know CLI, I've been recommending CLI way back, uh, ilang, ilang weeks na, before, even months, di ba? Matagal-tagal ko nang pinapanood yung CLI. And yeah, um, the numbers are showing that already. So, we'll talk about CLI in a while. Uh, sulat natin si CLI. So, it's it's 8.40. Um, last lang muna si MC Butete. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Fgen, please. Right. So, we'll stop with um, MC muna. Uh, let's start a discussion, right? It's 8.40. Um, do technical analysis work on a bearish market. Yeah, but before we continue, again, guys, counting request. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to the channel <clears throat> and share the video. Please share the video to, to your Facebook calls. Yun yung, I hope I've earned that request. I hope I've earned that favor in return. Um, yun lang yung favor ko sa inyo, right? So, we'll talk about this now. Does technical analysis work in the stock market, in a bearish market? The answer is, majority no. Sometimes it does. Yes, sometimes it does work. But most of the time, it doesn't work, right? So, basically, my answer is, um, leaning on the no side, right? Hindi siya gumagana. Why? Because, as you know, stock market is a probability game, right? It's about odds. It's about probabilities, di ba? And um, yung technical analysis kasi, for example, um, Fibonacci, um, these studies, yung, eto, yung mga, eto yung mga studies na ito has been, is, ano, is based on probability on previous events. Right? So, mga previous events na observe nang nag- gumawa ng technical analysis na ito, pag itong formation na ito, or if this happens, um, yung mga numbers na happen, whenever this happens, usually, nananalo ang stock. So, usually, the word usually is uh, probability. Right? So, usually, meaning, 
most of the time when this when this formation this when this pattern happens nagba-bounce siya or umaakyat siya for example RSI uy usually pag umaabot below 20 ang RSI that's where the area where start uh, the stock starts to bounce right so usually it's about probability right so technical analysis is based on probability also on previous events right so with that kasi probability siya on a bearish market the probability of the stock going down is very high. Why? Because the stock only goes up whenever the demand goes up. Diba? If ever maraming gustong bumili, that will you cause the stock to go up. If you don't know why the stock goes up or goes down, it's because of supply and demand. Diba? If maraming gustong bumili, maraming bumibili, umaakit ang stock kasi kukonti na lang ang nabebenta. I mean, available na supply, di ba? Kasi, for example, there are 10 people who will buy the stock, right? So, um, nauna si 1 and 2 and 3 um, na person and nabili na nila yung mura. Wala na ang mura na available. The other 7 will have to buy the more expensive one, right? So, what if yung more expensive one, si 4 and 5 nakuha and inubos ni 4 and 5? Yung the other 5, wala silang choice kasi gusto nila, and still, the stock is still in demand, gusto nila pa rin yung stock. So, yung mas mahal ang mabibili nila. That's why the stock goes up. So, I hope you understand that. So, that's um that's the supply and demand in the stock market. That's why it goes up. Now, on a bearish market, if nakikita nyo naman, naglalabasan ang mga investors, naglalabasan ang, ang mga pumasok na, and nobody is buying. Walang bumibili. Okay lang maglabasan, basta may bumibili rin. But the problem is, walang bumibili. Right? So, walang bumibili, and then, because naglalabasan na, so there are so many stocks out there already, at hindi naman nabibili ng mga tao kasi walang bumibili. So, what if ako, gusto ko ibenta, eh wala namang bumibili dito, gusto ko na lang talaga ibenta, is ibenta ko na mas mura. Right? So, once uh, ang mga tao gusto lang ibenta kaagad at mas mura, kaya bumababa ang presyo. Diba? So, walang bumibili on a bearish market. So, there's a strong chance na bumaba talaga ang, uh, uh, ang presyo. Right? So, that's the, uh, the thing is, the, with, the, with the bearish market, yung probability of the stock going up is really slim. Right? So, slim siya. So, meaning... There's a very small chance na aakyat ay isang stock. Right? And then, lagyan mo ng technical analysis. This is where technical analysis comes in. Right? Technical analysis, for example, support and resistance. Yan, one of the best technical analysis tool out there. Kasi support and resistance has the biggest chance of predicting if the stock is gonna go up at that price or not. Diba? Or go down sa resistance. Diba? So, let's say support and resistance. Now, support and resistance is using probability, diba? Support and resistance, by by history, yes, there are, malaki-laki ang chance na umaangat ang stock at support and resistance. But again, then again, it's probability. There is a chance that it will fail also, right? Even on a bu bullish market, there's a chance that support and resistance can fail. So, anjun pa rin yung chance of failing. Now, add at, add that chance of failing with the bearish market which multiplies the chance of failing. So, malaki talaga ang chance na bumabagsak ang isang stock. So, my answer is, if uh, on a bearish market, uh, technical analysis can be used. Yes, you can try to use it, especially if you're an aggressive player. You can play with that chance of, ano, with that cha slim chance lang of winning using technical analysis. Napakaliit ng chance na gumagana ang technical analysis on a bearish market. Right? Usually, support and resistance doesn't even hold. Diba? I mean, the supports usually don't hold. Right? So, Maliit ang chance on a on a on a on a bearish market. How does how do people earn? Yung mga mga galing na traders. How do they how do they earn? Right, ang ganito ang ginagawa. The the best traders out there are in the institutions, right? Um, mga institution yung mga yan, institutional players. Um, they know they what they do is they will sell where the demand is and. Where is the demand? Usually, kasi, ang retailer, example, ako, I'm a retailer buyer. Retailer meaning, ito yung mga small players, di ba? Uh, for example, ako, maliit lang kasi mabibili ko kasi hindi ako mayaman tulad ng institutions. So, where do I buy the stock? Where do, does the retailer buy the stock? They buy it at the support, di ba? So, doon sa support and demand. 
So when I buy at the demand and I'm a big uh, I'm an institutional uh, I'm an institution, usually marami na akong hawak sa stock na 'yan. What I do is kasi maraming gustong bumili diyan, diyan ako magbubuhos. Right? Ibubuhos ko diyan. Babagsak yung support na 'yan. And once it's cheaper, I'm just gonna buy back again the stock. Right? Bibilhin ko lang 'yan ulit as stock. So kawawa yung retailer. So if I were you, Don't be this is why I always tell you don't be aggressive in a bearish market right I do give out technical analysis nag the technical analysis din ako but bear in mind it's a bearish market you have to keep always put that into consideration because if you're trading you're playing with probability and the probability of losing is very big in the, on a bearish market so if you're practicing wag muna paglalaruan lang kayo ng magagaling talaga na traders right This is why I always tell you, don't be too aggressive. Don't practice trading. If hindi, pa kayo, hindi nyo pa alam paano mag-trade, huwag kayo mag-practice on a bearish market, right? Practice nyo on a bullish market. So that when the bearish market comes, at least meron na kayong alam. And then if it fails, you know when to cut your losses on a bearish market. And then alam nyo na, you already know the emotion behind cutting losses. You already know the emotion behind the, the amount of money that you have. Diba? So you're already familiar with your strategy and everything, nakaset na yan. So that when the bearish market comes, when you do something, you know what you're doing already. You're already confident. Uy, bumaba ba ito? So I'm just gonna cut my losses kasi yun yung napag, na, natutunan ko on the bull market. Diba? So don't practice on a bearish market, especially if newbie pa lang kayo. Kasi it's just gonna crush your, your ano, it's just gonna crush your uh, confidence. right? And the process of trading is the It should be a process of building your confidence in your strategy. And if na-try mo itong strategy on a bearish market and natalo ka, baka kalimutan mo yung strategy na yun. Uy, maghahanap ako na ibang strategy. That's bad, right? You, you uh, That's not really good, right? So you have to start building your strategy first. So I don't recommend trading on a, st- uh, on a bearish market, right? Do not, uh, do not as much as possible for if you're a newbie, wag masya oh, wag masyadong aggressive uh, technical analysis usually do not um, do not hold on a bearish market right because that is where people the big institutions who were already down there are gonna sell doon nila ibebenta yan because they know the demand is high at that at that price and I, they know that hindi naman babagsak mabilis ang stock if they will sell off at that area kasi mas malaki-laki ang demand diyan right so that's what they do right So, konting ingat on a bearish market. So, that's my sentiments on uh, the bearish market. My question kanina, Sir Lloyd, is it good to average down on a bearish market? Um, averaging down, yes. If ever malaki ang ipit ninyo. And ganito kasi nangyayari sa mga newbies. Eh. So, I'm in it as, as an investor. So, gusto ko um, mag-average down. Uy, may nakikita na ako ng support. Mag-average down ako. And again, it's a bearish market and bumabagsak. ba? Diba? bumagsak siya nung nag-average down ako and then bumagsak siya mag-average down na naman ako and and, and, and the next support so that's what will what usually happens sa uh, mga newbies hanggang sa maubos ang buying power so that's not good right um usually what i will recommend to be efficient if you want to average down average down on a reversal pag may nakita na kayong reversal that is the best time to average down if ever you can use fibonacci diba so pag bagsak niya if you saw a reversal sa fibonacci wait for the retracement before you wanna buy buy right antayin niyo yung reversal before you really wanna average down if you are in it as a trader pero naipit kayo but as an investor naman if may cost averaging kayo you don't really have to worry ito yung sagot sa question kanina na Sir Lloyd bakit on a bearish market kahit bumabagsak yung stock the big, the big companies are still holding on to their stocks that is because for them mura na undervalued na stock if it's gonna go further down they're just gonna buy more right hindi, hindi naman uh, they don't really need the money right away so um, kas pag binenta nila yan pag umakyat yan, paano pag umakyat bigla, din nalabas sila, they were already out of the trade, diba? They're planning to hold it for longer term. And I guess, again, I tell you guys, stock market, getting rich in the stock market, it's not about really trading, it's about volume. The more stocks you have at the right time, and then once the stock rallies up, you're gonna be rich, I tell you. So, get, 
gather as many stocks as you can. Right now, if you're an investor, you should be celebrating because dapat nakapag-ipon na kayo. Right? As again, stocks is about volume. So it's about buying more and buying more and buying more. Pangit naman yun kung bumibili ka sa taas, di ba? Mas mahal ang binibili mo, mas mahal ang binibili mo. That's not good. It is always good to buy more when the prices are down. So this you should be celebrating if you're an investor, di ba? So you have more... Ang ginagawa nyo dapat ngayon is don't spend your money on trading. Keep your money. Keep it safe. And then, mag-ipon din kayo on the other hand. Buy, um, mag-ipon na kayo ng pera para i-add, i-add ninyo sa buying power niyo So that when the reversal comes, you can buy more and then you are on, on a very good position. It's really about ha- handling more stocks. Handling handling many stocks. Uh it's about your volume. How many stocks? How many Jollibee stocks are you holding? Right? Ilan ang hawak mong Jollibee stocks? Right? So, if the prices of Jollibee go down, you should celebrate because this is their opportunity to go big on Jollibee. Mas marami stocks sa hawakan mo para pag akit niyan, you're gonna be in a very good position. Right? Huwag nyo lang hayaan yung stock ninyo na constant lang dyan. Kasi you're just gonna be riding waves kung hayaan yung yun lang ang stocks na hawak ninyo. It's, you won't get rich. Uh, you can still get rich that way but it's gonna be very slow. It's about really about investing more and more money into it, into a company. Right? If it's uh, right now the market's going down, if it's gonna bottom in time so that's gonna be very good kasi nakapag-ipon na ako. I'm just waiting for the reversal to buy more. Right? Right, so yeah, uh, that is uh, the discussion, right? Technical analysis, just a little review. Usually, it doesn't work on a bearish market. Um, ta try do rin lang kayo ng technical analysis ninyo because the big institutions, the good players know when are you gonna buy, and then that's where they are gonna be selling, right? And for them, they know all. They know where where is the where is what is the fair value of the stock, and usually they already have stocks no on pa. If kakasimulan yun lang. Don't expect na yung mga institutions lang kakapasok lang na stock na yan. Mar- natagal na silang may hawak na stock na yan. Right? So, always have that in mind. Right? So, don't practice trading on a bearish market. I tell you, magsisira lang ang confidence ninyo. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna read thoughts of the others. Sino-sino po ba stockholders ng PTNT na listed sa PSC? I can't really say kung sino ang may hawak ng mga yan. Usually, do- noon pa. Sir, sabi na iba, bad down to average down. Sabi na, well, okay now. Pag maraming pera na ano po take ninyo? From Gabby Trader. Yes. Uh, sir, sabi na iba, to, uh, bad down to average down. Um, Right now, in the stock, very good question, Gabby. Right? Um, kasi sa stock market, right now, it's a bearish market. It's really hard to guess the bottom. Right? It's not good to average down right now. For me, it's not good to average down. But if you're an investor, anytime you want to average down, that's okay. If cost averaging naman ang plano niyo, yes. There's always so many pers- perspective in the stock market. Um, iba-iba tayo ng ano eh, iba-iba tayo ng perspective eh. Ako is, I am, I am kind of a trader na, I mean, investor na, I only average down on good positions na. For example, reversal, dyan ako nag-average down. At least, mas efficient yung oras ko, ba? So, I just went, well, I really wanna wait for the reversal. Yung mga cost averaging naman na simple na Pinoy. For example, yung BC naman talaga hindi nakakapag-trade. Uh, for example, tingin nyo ngayon si Jellybee, uy, mura na, so I'm gonna average down. Anyways, next month, yung mga OFWs, next month, may ipon na naman yan. For example, may ipon sila 50,000. Pag tingin lang Jellybee next month, bumaba pa. That will not be a problem because they're just gonna be buying more, right? And then, dadami yung stocks nila. So, kahit na mag-average down sila sa taas, okay lang yon, right? Okay lang mag-average down ngayon if may plano kayo magdagdag pa next month, di ba? So, okay lang yon. It's really okay to average down if ever may plano pa kayo mag-average down in the coming days or magdagdag ng stocks in the coming days. Pero kung one-time big-time player naman kayo na, for example, meron akong 50,000 ngayon, next month baka wala akong 50,000. So, I really wanna be efficient in my averaging down. So, antayin ko muna talaga yung reversal. So, that's the side there na sinasabi. Gabi Trader, okay? CLI, tataas na yan kasi may Halloween party dito sa amin, lol. Uh, si Rain Jeo, ay, I think from CLI naman si Rain Jeo siguro, ba? Are you from CLI, Rain Jeo? Uh, CLI, yes. I talked to uh, uh, one of the uh, one of my friends there who's into who is in CLI and napakaganda ng projections ng CLI and their projects are very good that's why I've been recommending CLI and um, I'm basing this on fundamentals right if ever papasok man kayo ngayon um, basing on the support kasi si CLI nasa support na if babagsak man yan I'd say don't worry 
because when the bullish market comes, this company is one of the companies that will be flying more, most probably. So I'm just going to be averaging down furthermore in the future kay CLI, di ba? Um, John Paul, napa-reset ako ng real quick sa Chupeto Trade Trainer kahapon, sir. Right? Okay lang yan. Uh, you're practicing naman eh. But it's really hard to practice on a bearish market. So uh, I'd say, yes, continue practicing your technical analysis. But sa, um, kasi tech, ang problema niyan, sinisira ang confidence ninyo. Um, mag-practice ka ngayon sa Chupetot, right? Pag, bina- pag, na- pag nasira yung um, pag nasira yung support mo at bumagsak, baka hindi mo nagamitin ulit, di ba? So, that's the problem right there. Um, just uh, put that mindset na on a bearish market talaga, malaki ang chance na masira, um, mag-fail ang, st- ang technical analysis. So, keep practicing that technical analysis still. Right? Practice nyo pa rin yung technical analysis na yan. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na hindi, uh, nag-fail kasi siya ngayon, pangit na yun gamitin in the future. For example, I try to use Fibonacci today and uy, according to Fibonacci, okay naman pero nag-fail siya so ayoko na gamitin si Fibonacci sa susunod. Hindi yan. Uh, it doesn't work like that. Right? Um, good morning. Ano po masasabi nyo about PTNT news report disclosure? Um... Uh, right, uh, I think sa PTNT, uh, this is from Joseph Gonzalez. Um, I think PNP, PTNT is very confident on becoming the third telco. So, I think PTNT is good. Right, inihintay ko lang talaga. Even si IRC, di ba? Um, inihintay ko lang talaga any further moves sa, uh, ano, sa third telco. I don't want you guys to be very aggressive in the third telco. Everything is speculative right now. Don't worry, pag na-announce na yan, kung sino ang magiging third telco, it will not be too late. Right for for the first, siguro mga five days, first week, second week, flavor of the flavor of the week yan hindi kayo mahapasok. So anytime soon after that, makakapasok na kayo when the demand starts to go, go down. Um, yes, aakit niyan, but long term yan. So mara mara may opportunities to get in in the future. So don't be too aggressive, if, especially if you're a newbie. Wag masyadong aggressive with the third telco, right? So konti ingat lang. Paano sumali sa Discord, sir? From Hanson Birosel. Hanson, um, download Discord and go to the video description nasa baba. Uh, may, may invitation link dyan sa Discord group natin. Melts, Dax, okay lang po ba ginagawa ko ngayon, sir? Buy and wait f- uh, wait for the blue chips. Thanks po. Yes, that's okay. And then, buy lang. If you have future, uh, you have if you have plans to buy more in the future, yes, that's okay. But if ever one time, big time ang style nyo, antayin nyo reversal before, before kayo pumasok talaga. Alright? Now, let's try Good morning, Coach. My relation po ba ATN at MRC? Business-wise, salamat. Um, I don't think so meron. Ang alam ko merong relationship is ATN and TBGI, not MRC, right? Uh, Jay Guevara, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning din. Uh, Ivan So, tsaka bakit ang laki-laki palagi ng bid and ask ng MRC? Na halos konti to hindi naman po gumagalaw yung price. Technique po ba ito ng mga jockeys? Ivan So, um... This is uh your MRC you nakikita niyo yes this is true um the demand of MRC is there but then again it's a bearish market so it's the demand is not really enough enough to sustain the sell off also so uh, remember walang investor ngayon Ivan so right ang nasa nasa na, 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 nasa market ngayon are mga chupiteros kaya yung mga bumibili sa baba ibebenta rin kaagad nila yan uh, scalping is one of the techniques in the stock market right now. Yung mga gamagagaling na traders on a bearish market, scalping ang ginagawa nila. Sa mga 0.3, 0.4 na difference, pinibenta na nila yan. 0.5. Yung mga 0.05, 0.03, 0.04 na difference, binibenta na nila yan kasi malaki naman yung hawak nila ng stock. So, they are already earned in 1 centavo. Kumikita na yan sila. So, it's not really jockey place. It's really about trading. Ang nasa MRC ngayon are traders. Very good traders. And sila rin yung nagbebenta tahan at naglalabanan dyan. So, if ever, um, kaya hindi umaakit yan kasi the demand is not enough to make it go up. Ang demand kasi dyan is for traders lang. Alam nila na maganda ang news kay MRC kaya dun, sil, dun yung, yan yung pinaglalaroan nila. Pero naglalaro dyan are not investors kaya hindi umaakit ang stock. Nagbebentahan din kaagad kaya hindi gumagalaw ang MRC. Right? Um, Rene Zamora, good morning Sir Lloyd, watching live here in Recife, Brazil. Yan, good morning. Ano po ba ang short selling things from Cas? Short selling is a way to earn in the stock market where kahit hindi mo hawak ang stock, if you think the stock is gonna go down, you sell the stock right away. Right? Isa sell mo, um, but that means you're borrowing a stock from a holder. Right? Isa sell mo yan kasi it doesn't make sense na ano ibibenta ko eh, wala naman akong hawak na stock, di ba? Um, 
So you sell it. Short selling has a system that lets you sell stocks na um na ano na hindi mo hawa, di ba? Uh, these are stocks from people who are uh, institution that are holding the stock for longer term, di ba? Ganito kasi sa stock market. If the stock goes down, di ba? There are people who lose money. And then the money that they lost, it goes to other people, di ba? And, sh- and short selling na lang, it channels it to directly to the per- person who short sells it. Example, this, this, this institution lets you bar- borrow their stocks that. So they're losing money kasi bumababa ang stock. Diba? And then, if you buy it in return, iuusosoli mo na sa kanila. That's because you short sold it. Meaning, pag sell mo, hinira mo yung sa kanila. And then, how to, to get rid of it, you buy it. And then, so, when you buy, baliktad lang ha. If you buy it, meaning, binalik mo na sa kanila on the short selling. So, binalik mo na sa kanila. So, they lost money. Anyways, long term naman sila. So, that's not a problem with them. So, they lost money and yung na-lose nila ng pera, napunta sa'yo directly lang. So, ganun lang ang short selling cash, right? I have a video about short selling. Uh, you just check it out. Any future, um, any future plans for seminar in Dumaguete, Rene? Most probably soon, right? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna need an, uh, uh, help from organizers. Right? Jeffrey at 80, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Do you have future plans conducting seminars sa Baguio? Baguio then, most probably this December. Yun yung pinaplano natin. Robert Baluyot, IRC hold pa po ba? IRC, I'd say hold. Um, right now on the stock, sige, um, it's 9.03. Siguro last lang tayo sa technical analysis, ng- analysis ngayon. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about uh, strategies in this market plan talaga. Robert Baluyot, IRC hold po ba? I'd say if you got in IRC, yan, marami kasi pumasok kay IRC. Dahil sa train, alam niyo yung subway, di ba? If you went in because of that, focus on that. Huwag kayong magfo-focus kasi pumasok kayo dyan dahil sa negosyo nila na subway. I'd say hold if that was your reason why you went in IRC. Because yes, in the future, that is a very big project. Right? So in the future, akit din yung mga yan, uh, ang IRC. I don't want you to look at technical analysis. I don't want you to look at chart if you went in the stock because of the train. Kasi babagsak, even if karamihan, whatever good news meron ngayon, bumabagsak ay isang stock, right? Yung IRC niya ang ganda ng news pero bumabagsak, di ba? Si Or ang daming mga gandang news pero bumabagsak. CPG, so many news in that company pero bumabagsak. Si CLI, ang daming good news pero hinga, hirap umakyat. Diba? It's really that, uh, that, that's really, that really is the problem. Si SSI, di ba? Ilang araw ko na yung rinarecommend pero hirap rin umakyat. Right? It's, be, it's it's just that it's a bearish market. So, kay IRC, going back to your question, I'd say hold if your reason is about the long-term projection nila about the subway. Because in the end, um, in the future, akit din naman yan. So, just if it goes down, then that's your opportunity to buy more. Right? If your plan is to earn because of that project, um, just ma- buy more. It will be very good for you if you buy more doon sa baba if babagsak man yun si RRC. Uh, Ikay Herrera, good morning Sir Lloyd. Support na ba si ECP ang 13? Uh, we'll talk about that in a while. What happens sir if PTT, PTNT met kuhang third telco? Um, sila magiging third telco and if you're gonna, uh, if you really meant to ask me um, ano mangyayari sa stock nila, we can't really tell if PTNT is gonna be returning in stock um, in PSE, right? If makakabalik man sila sa, sa PSE, yes, that will be very good kasi maraming tao makaka, makikita din. I think that is the plan of the of the administration din na um, si PTNT makapasok talaga. Diba? So, yeah, um, PTNT, what will happen? Um, aakit yung stock din. That will be very in demand. Um, if ever hindi makapasok, yun yung sinasabi ko, the possible scenario is mag-spill yung demand over to MRC because MRC is part of PTNT rin. So, if ever PTNT goes up, MRC is gonna go up with it. So, that's the possible scenario. Um, Aldwin Christian, good morning, Sir Lloyd. May news na ba kung kailan pwede mag-short sa PSE? Ang sabi ng PSE is last quarter ng, ano, last quarter ng, uh, what do you call this ng year ngayon but I'm not seeing any further information about that so we'll have to wait for further ano for further uh, information Jim Hernandez regarding eToro sir kung hindi po makagamit ng credit card or PayPal is there under way to fund eToro account thanks po you can use your debit card okay um, pwede debit card for eToro Robert Baluyot good morning IRC po I say hold si IRC if you're in it for the long term pun trading I would say labas lang muna eh. um, Christian 
Mikwa, good morning Sir Lord Poopy, same with everything right now. Right now guys, uh, I don't really want to focus on technical analysis. We can focus on fundamentals. I don't want you to get in stocks muna, right? If you're here, because most probably you're still a newbie because the audience is a newbie, diba? So I don't want to tell you really to get in now on a company when the market is down kasi kahit anong technical analysis gagawin natin dyan if bearish yung market bababa talaga yan we'll have to wait I'd stay. I'd say we have to wait for the stock market to recover before I want you guys to get in right um, Christian that's for Popey good morning Sir Lloyd what are your insights on ICT is it going down already <laughs> lahat naman siguro guma, bumabagsak monet eh. but yeah um, if you're a trader if you nagpa-practice pala kayo ng trader take profits right away right? mag take profits na kayo maliit lang Kung dati nag ang um, target yung profit taking is 5 to uh, f- 5 to 10%. If you, if you if if 5 is already hit, I want you to sell half already. Let the other half ride and then just sell it when uh, if you mag break even na. Right? So, yun. Um, sir, pwede ba mag speak out ngayon dito regarding sa mga nangyayari sa Discord group chat? Uh Yeah, um Discord group chat uh yeah, I had to separate the non-business related kasi eh, eh, to be fair with everyone, it's not really hindi naman pwede, hindi naman natin makokontrol yung ano talaga chikahan ng mga tao. So the best we can do is to separate the non-business related chat. Dito na, dito na nag-uusap yung mga tao. At least yung mga newbies um can focus more on questions here, di ba? If may mga newbie questions dito sa main chat room lumalabas uh, sa non business related dito yung mga chikahan lang talaga eh, hindi mo maiiwasan na mga tao magbibiruan um, likas sa mga pinoy magbiruan so i had to separate that uh, meron lang akong linabas na rule ngayon sa chat room na the channel the main channel will be purely for stocks non trading stocks topic na, nandoon na sa non business related um Pin, mahigpit na natin pinagbabawal ang hyping and bashing stocks and bashing other people. Right? Because uh, I w- meron na tayong bagong mga admins that will help us with this. And then, kung sin- sino man ang makakalabag is yes, we're gonna be talking to them and give them a warning. Uh, get their side of the story. And then, give them a warning. And then, if uulit pa, then that was when we will be kicking them out. We have to make the community healthy as much as possible. It was kind of getting out of hand. Medyo naging, uh, medyo magulo na. So we have to kick, uh, it, it was about time na lakasan na natin ang enforcement ng the billionaires club right so if you're a newbie yes uh, go to the main channel dito kay magtanong sa mga magagaling ng traders dito naman nagchichikahan yung ibang mga tao which is not really uh, somehow stock related then but maybe not relevant for the newbies yung mga kulitan ng mga yan if it's not relevant to you pwede nyo namang i-off ang uh, notifications yan sa non-business related and just go to the main uh, just go to the main chat room sa main chat room dito kay lalabas ng information na makakalat ko you know me whenever I get in insider news i shell it out for free to everyone and then this is where you're gonna where you're gonna be seeing it right so yan yeah, nag chat ng mga tao as of the moment nakikita niyo naman um, every, everyone is helping each other here dito nagkukulitan ang mga tao hindi natin maiiwasan yan but sadyang makulit talaga ang mga pinoy so i just i just what we did is really just separate them para at least healthy pa rin ang uh, chat room natin sir good morning ng website po gamit niyo sa charting ang gamit ko sa charting is um ito itong chart na ito this is ps uh, si ano si chupetot right psi tools right um so I'm gonna go down sa mga comments na iban. Paano po i-check if maganda ang fundamentals or Davin Akuram um let, let me give you ano, let me give you a uh, link for my seminar, free seminar. Meron akong free na seminar dati. Eh. Um doon ko tinuro kung saan how you will be able to check the fundamentals of the company. So go to this link, this seminar link right here. Lalagay ko sa chat room Davin, okay? Yan. Yung video na yan, um, andyan yung fundamentals, how to check the fundamentals of the company. Uh, Elaine Rodrigo, paano po ba itoro? Need po ba ng broker? Itoro is a broker already, right? Just go directly to my link. Andyan ang link ko sa baba. Sa this video description, please create a itoro account using my link right there, nasa baba. Uh, that will help me in return. So, just go there, makagawa na kayo ng itoro account. That is very, ano, that is very, uh, that is uh, a very good comp, uh, a broker to deal with. Uh, Providencia Salas, ganda ng, kay ganda ng DNA ng IRC habang nasa baba ay buy and sell sa taas. Madalas ganyan ang character. Yes, the DNA of IRC. DNA, um, uh, if you don't know what 
DNA means, means ito yung parang um, uh, nasa loob ng isang stock right uh, this is this means na um, the innate nature of the stock is very good ang ganda ng DNA ni RNC right it's just that Jupiter lang talaga ang mga tao ngayon um, kaya konting angat binebenta na kaagad so it really can't sustain a climb right that's that's why i really uh, want you to think as a trader also but if you're in it for ano if but if you're in it for investing naman so just get in let the other wag kayong wag wag kayong ma-frustrate if, if babagsak ang IRC because dapat ang ang purpose ng is just keep it, buy more diba in the future so if it goes down you should be happy because you can buy more uh when i when IRC prices go down Right. Um. So, si mo Good morning, sir. Lord. Is it okay to buy GFC and BDO tomorrow? BDO now. For me, maganda naman support ni GFC and BDO. GFC has been sustaining. Kahit ang bearish market, GFC has been sustaining. Yeah, we can check out GFC. Ato lang. Pwede natin chart ito. GFC has been sustaining right there. I've been recommending GFC for three days. Pero look, sustain lang siya dyan. It's Look at that. It's showing a resistance already. But the buying is there. I'd say GFC is a buy. Alright. But... I don't want you to be very aggressive, right? Pwede kayo bumili dyan. And then if it goes further down, test buy lang. Huwag masyado malaking pera. So that if ever it goes down, pwede kayo magbili pa sa more. But what if um, may trabaho ka naman? And alam mo, next month, may kita ka naman at may savings ka in the coming months or two. So it's okay to go all in here. If it goes down, may may may, may savings naman kayo next year. Just buy more Jollibee. That can happen, right? So that's your option. right? You can do that. Right. So JFC for me is a buy. But I just can't tell you if it's gonna sustain or not. It's, this is a very bearish market. Look at BDO. Your support niya hindi nag sustain. It even went further down. I'd say the price of BDO is very cheap already. But at at the end of the day, it's not the price that will I know it will it's not the price that will dictate the movement of the stock. It's the action of the people. If there will be buyers, then ah, I can't, yeah, of course. So I can't say if maraming buyers ngayon kasi konti lang talaga investors sa stock market right now. So it's very hard to tell if it's just gonna go up or down depending um using the charts. Right? So it's not really good to charting right now. Good morning, Maestro from Singapore from Ted Abarisha. Yeah, good morning, Ted. ECP po bang support na kaya? Um, ECP and ECP pababa na naman eh right so yeah there's support in ECP ah uh, nga pala guys just a heads up um uh, di ba sabi ko sa inyo dati possible si IRC ah uh, ISM si ECP ang kukunin parang malabo na yata kasi ang daming demands ni ECP maybe that's the reason why ECP is going down or it's just the bearish market um yan malabo na si ISM uh, for funds kay uh, kay ECP kasi ang daming demand ni ECP yun yung nakakalap ko ng balita so it's really hard to tell um Dave, guapo daddy sir Lord, okay po ba magbudegan ng JFC in video for long term is this a good buy pa shout out naman pa sa misis ko na si uh Flory Dadis. Yes, thanks. Watching while working from South Korea. Oh, yan. Uh, B- JFC and BDO. Yes, these are very good companies. JFC, one of the biggest right now na food chain dito sa Philippines. Not just in the Philippines, di ba? Sila may ari ng Chowking, uh, Greenwich, uh, Manginasal, and may binili pa sila na Mexico na, na, na chain. So, Jollibee is very good, right? JFC is something you want to be banking on in the future. Right, so magbodega kayo ng JFC habang mura pa. JFC is about the number of stocks that you have. Right, pag mas marami kayong hawak, mas maganda. And the only way to get more and more stocks is buy while it's cheap. Right, that's the best way to get more stocks. Right, um, si BDO naman is the biggest bank here in the Philippines. So why, why not, uh, why not bank on them also, di ba? So napagaganda ng ano, um, napagaganda ng ano, uh, ng uh ng stock na yan. Right. Sino-sino po ba stockholder ng PNT, PTNT? Hindi ko alam kung sino ang ha- stockholders ng PTNT. Eh. Um, Paul Hendrick, Rituta, si Tugs, okay po ba? Yes, I say Tugs is good. Meron na tayong insider ka Tugs. Maraming project si Tugs na coming. Again, it's a bearish market. Even the best companies are failing. Ayan, si, uh, nakikita nyo naman si si JFC, uh, sila BDO, one of the good companies out there. Um, kahit na maganda yan, right? bumabagsak yan kasi yung market is bearish, right? But then again, overall, these are very good companies to get into. Right? Um, I don't want you to be, be very aggressive. If gusto nyo pumasok, don't go all in. Mamaya na kayo mag-all in pag-reversal na. Um, 
Uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd from Abebs Shabebs. And, um, ano po nangyayari kay LTG? LTG, yun, si LTG bumababa ng bumababa. RSI is already looking good, right? Ang ganda na ng RSI, but the thing is, it's just that, wala lang buyers. Yun yung problema with the market. Walang buyers. Alang, ad, ang attention ng mga buyers ngayon is nasa mga hype na stocks. Third Telco, yung IRC, yung napakalaking projects talaga. LTG hasn't, have not given out good projects yet, so it, wala pang attention sa kanila. And walang attention plus walang investors, that's why it's going down, right? So, that's what's happening to LTG. The overall, the company is doing good, right? Maganda yung numbers nila, right? So, LTG, I'd say it's a buy, pero mamaya na. If you see a reversal, may maganda support dito. Maybe we can test it out dito sa bottom niya talaga, dito sa baba. So, that's for LTG. It's just that the market is bearish. Whatever, however good the company is. Yung sila MRC, sila IRC nga. Ang kaganda ninyo, sihirap umang- umakyat, di ba? Web, please, same with Web. Bumaba ng bumaba. Um, good company. I'm waiting for Web's third quarter earnings to see if it it is doing good, just to confirm. But somehow, first quarter, second quarter, and annual earnings nila okay naman. So, it, it's improving already. So, I'd say it's already doing good to Web. Uh, Luel Deligero, how about STR, sir? Uh, that's a problem. STR, hindi naman sila gumagawa ng news. Eh. So, kaya bumababa ng bumababa. This is what I've been telling you. If the stock market is not, if the company is not doing anything uh, to really attract uh, investors, yan, bumabagsak yan. Right? right now, STR kahapon, we discussed about STR. I'd say, I stay away from it. And yun, bumaba nga si STR. Um, this is a good company, pero walang advertisements, di ba? Pero, yung mga companies nga mga ganda na meron namang linalabas na projects hindi nga umaakyat eh, 'di ba sila sila or 'di ba so hindi nga umaakyat ito pa kaya so stay away i don't want you to really be aggressive right um yeah normal yan ang nangyayari sa discord eh makulit lang talaga ang pinoy thanks sir lloyd for being generous god bless you and your family thank you so much right um yeah um i'd say it's normal um pinoy i I've, i have uh ako is mabarkada din ako eh. Right? Um, I'm a serious type of guy. Well, makulit din minsan. But yeah, it's really the nature of Pinoy's makulit. Um, doesn't work for all. That's why we have to segregate lang. Right? Yun yung pinaka-best na naisip ko. Segregate the serious chat room sa kulita na chat room. At least, you have the option to join the kulita chat room. If you don't like that chat room, at least andun lang kayo sa main, di ba? <clears throat> Thank you so much for your good wishes. Teddy Dagatan, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, good day, Sir Meg. Meg and MPI, these are two good companies. Right? Si Meg, di ba? Nakikita nyo naman si Meg. Mega World has very good projects. Even the good companies are going down. But somehow, Meg, very good. Meg is showing a support right here. So you can bet on that support. May bounce naman sa support uh, si Meg, di ba? So that's kind of good kay Meg. Um, then again, I want you to wait for it again at the mo- uh, the bottom part talaga before you wanna get in. Sayang yun eh, di ba? Si Meg did a higher low. But then again, ito, di ba? Higher low. But yan, that's a new support right there. Kaso nga lang, hindi siya nag-hold. Kasi market is really bad, di ba? So Meg, meron tayong secondary support dito. If you wanna buy Meg, you can buy as long as the support holds. Pero don't trade it. I tell you, baka ma- mag-fail na naman yung support na yan. Um, Meg and MPI. And sila, MPI and good companies pero bumabagsak, right? So, MPI, um, doing a retracement, I'd say, I, I'd say this is good but really shaky with the market. You can bet on that support, just buy more if ever. Um, as much as possible, I want you to sit down and do nothing in the stock market right now, right? But I know some of the people really want to buy. Uh, Siguro, my biggest lesson for today's episode is... Um, Doing nothing in stock market is still a strategy, right? Majority, ako, majority of my trading, I just sit down and do nothing. That's part of your strategy, right? Always wait for, uh, always wait for your perfect opportunity, right? Right now, in the stock market, mm, bearish ang market, di ba? So you have always have to keep that in mind, right? Even if you see a support or even if you see a higher low, remember that the stock market is bearish. Remember that ang mga tao dyan are traders if the market is bearish. You have to always consider these things. And if you're not a good trader, just don't, just don't, ano, just do nothing for the meantime. Okay, mag-alala if you say the baka maiwan ako eh. No, you can see, ang daming presyong bumababa, gumaganda, di ba? So, let the, let the market do its thing, right? Huwag kayong magpapakain sa mga, mga sharks dyan, right? If, especially if you're a newbie. Doing nothing is sometimes good in the stock market. 
hindi sometimes, most of the time. I always do that. When I see a stock, it's going down, it's going down. Uy, may support na. Always keep in mind, okay, may support na. Is the market bullish? Or is this stock bullish or sideways naman ito? So sideways, if sideways ang stock and the market is bullish, I'd say I'd buy that. It's, it's a bullish market and it's at support. So most probably, mas malaki ang probability na aakit na stock na yan. So I'm gonna test buy it, di ba? Now, if it's a support, if it's, it's, it's on the sideways, I always think, is the market bullish or is the market bearish? It's a bearish market, so mas malaki ang chance na hindi ako makakapasok niyan. So, I'd wait for more confirmation. I'd be more cautious in my entries. You have to always consider these in mind, right? Now, if the market is super bearish, I'd rather not get in kasi mas malaki ang chance na mag-fail yan. And you've seen so many support fails in the market right now. So, just sit down. Let the market recover. Uy, Nag-recover na ang market. is starting to look bullish. So, that's the time I will try support entries na. Maghahanap na ako ng stocks na nasa support na or gumawa na ng higher low. Doon pa ako gagalaw. Do nothing. It can save you so much money. Right? You can do nothing with your real money and you can practice with virtual funds on the bearish market. Mag-practice na lang muna kayo. Use this time to earn um, learn more in the stock market. Right, so uh, based on blue chips, Richard Gallinaro. So that yun yung lesson ko today, eh? right? Sa inyo guys, always consider many things. Sitting down is part of your strategy. Use that as your strategy. Upo lang muna, right? While the market is uh, going down. If aggressive kayo noon, please don't do that consider many perspectives before you want to get in a stock. Richard, uh, blue chips switch top three to invest. I'd say JFC, SMPH, and BDO, right? Um, yun yung top three yung ko kung pasokin ninyo. Alvin Lee, may disclosure daw si Nao, Galawang Kalata, good luck to all. Nako, hindi ko na pa, hindi ko pa na check. So yeah, good luck lang. Um, mag, magiging an din po ba kaya ang paglipad ng price IRC, sir? Lord, ano kaya ang target price? Salamat po. I can't really say the target price yet. Um, we'll, we'll see in the future. Ma if makikita na natin yung earnings nila sa, uh, yung earnings nila with, ano, with the subway, doon pa natin makikita talaga yung target profits natin. Makikita, ma yun yung projection eh. Makikita na natin yung projection ng kita nila. Dior is, uh, Dan S. Gary, what do you think of Or, sir? I'm an avid fan of Or. Or has been very aggressive in company expansions. May magagandang project sila. So, I'd say Or is a buy. Don't be too aggressive lang, right? It's 9.24 already, guys. Uh, that's it for today. I really am um, thinking about this episode na ituro ko na lang uh, about the bearish market. You have to always consider the possibility of a bearish market breaking down support. So technical analysis usually don't work on uh, on a bearish market. You have to stick on the fundamentals in these kinds of mo uh, these kinds of moments, right? Think about the future, longer term. If bumaba man yan, uh, Fundamentals play tayo. If bababa man yan and you, be, you went in because of the fundamentals, then average down, right? If you went in as a trader, then you can always cut your losses. But I don't want you to be a trader on a bearish market. That's it for today. I want you to enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Wag masyadong mainit ang ulo dahil sa stock market. This is normal. This happens, right? This always happens. What I want you to do instead is mag... mag uh, do overtime works. Um, get bonuses as much as you can to save up more money so that you have money to buy on the bullish when the bullish market comes. You're going to be in a very good position. That is how you become rich in the stock market. That's it for today. I'm Bacolod. Aalis na ako mamaya. I'll see you in Bacolod. Bacolod, October 14. That's this Sunday. Right? Pwede kayo mag-walk in or send me a message if you, if you still want to join. Uh, see you next week. Uh, I'll try, andun pa ako sa Bacolod on Monday, yes. But I'll try my best, baka makapag-daily grind pa ako on Monday sa Bacolod. Bacolod edition, right? That's that's um, that's something good. Right, so yes, I'll see you next week. Ingat sa market. Let's get rich together. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.